What's up, family? White House lawyers have had to repeatedly warn Donald Trump against reaching out to his fired national security advisor, Michael Flynn. <laughs> this dude don't get it. I mean, he's constantly asking his senior staff and White House counsel, can he reach out to this dude to talk to this dude? Now, a smart person might say, why are you so interested in talking to Michael Flynn? Who wants to talk to somebody that badly whom they fired? Remember, he fired the dude. He fired Michael Flynn because Michael Flynn contradicted himself when he was talking to Vice President Mike Pence about the conversation that he had with Russian ambassador to the United States in regards to sanctions. So Trump was like, yeah, he's a good guy, he's doing his job, but you know, he lied, so I had to fire him. Imagine that. He fired the guy because he lied. Come on, who, who the hell really believes that? Now, a White House uh, administration official said, while the president does not regret firing General Flynn, he feels he is a good man who served his country bravely and honorably and who is being treated unfairly by the press and Democrats on Capitol Hill. <laughs> this dude been, I never seen somebody who became president of the United States cry so much about the press not being on their side. I mean, it's, it's virtually impossible to win an election without the press giving you some type of favor. Now, we know that that's what Fox News did, but normally it's going to take a lot of press, a lot of favorable press for you to become president of the United States. And well, unless you collude with the Russians to actually fix the election. See, that's where we're going, boys and girls. See, that's why he really want to talk to Michael Flynn. He want to see what he knows. He want to make sure that he ain't going to rat him out. Now, a White House staffer also stressed Trump's personal affinity for his former aide. He said, the president clearly feels bad about how things went down. <laughs> so he wants to talk to Mike Flynn, basically say, hey man, I got you. That was messed up what they did. It's the Democrats' fault. And it started with Obama. And Michelle had something to do with it too. And so did Hillary Clinton. Who else can we blame? Oh, the blacks. I always blame the blacks. <laughs> just, just keep throwing stuff out there until something sticks. And the whole idea is to just muddy the water. Just blame, blame, deflect, 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 deflect. And just get people confused so that nobody's concentrating on the facts. Nobody's concentrating on the dirty, low-down things that you really did. Or that you're still doing. Now, the thing is this, man. The reason why uh, Trump wants to talk to Mike Flynn, again, he's trying to figure out what it is that Mike Flynn knows. Now, here's the deal. If um, they find out that Trump was questioning questioning uh, Michael Flynn about these uh, the investigation. Then they said that you know he could be brought up on uh, charges of uh, witness tampering. So y'all know that's what it's about anyway. I mean he been witness tampering from day one. I mean so that's really what's been going on the whole time. 
Trump knows that he dirty. See, a person that's not guilty, they wouldn't be acting like that. Hey man, I fired, I fired the dude. He was in the wrong, he was incompetent, he didn't do his job right, he compromised national security, I had to get rid of him. I did this in the interest of the American people. That's why I did it. And you're done with it and you move on. You don't constantly try to contact this dude. After your uh, staff has told you, your legal staff has told you to let it go, man. Let it ride. But no, that's too much like right. So Donald Trump is still trying to get to him. Now, this is what you know, some people are saying. Well, you know, he's just a friend and he's you know, good old boy. just getting at a friend, trying to make sure he's all right, checking on a friend. Nah, y'all, I'm tell you what he's doing. I'll tell you what the conversation might go like. See, he'd get Mike on the phone, he'd be like, yeah, uh, so yeah, Mike, uh, hey, hey, good buddy, what's going on? Yeah, you all right? Well, look here, babe, uh, I just want to make sure that everything's cool and uh, you're comfortable, you all right? Um, just checking on you. Make sure, making sure you're okay. Make sure the family's okay. And uh, yeah, um, you haven't talked to anybody, right? You haven't mentioned my name, right? Yeah. Okay. Cool. All right. Now, all right, babe. Uh, let me go in here and slip on something a little bit more comfortable. <laughs> I'll be right back. That's that's the game, y'all. Y'all know what the time it is, man. I mean. This dude is the president of the United States. Not my president, but the president of the United States nonetheless. And he doesn't know that you don't talk to a guy that you fired about an investigation that you're currently involved in. Now, I know that Donald Trump is supposed to be smart because he's a billionaire. But that just goes to show you, man, just because a person got money don't mean that they have a high IQ. It doesn't mean that. It's, I know a lot of dumbass people with money, a lot of them. And some of them just have a lot more than others. That's all it is. I mean, it ain't hard to take a million dollars from your daddy 30 years ago and turn it into a, a billion dollars. It ain't that hard. You know, uh, when you get a certain structure in place, everything's been laid out for you. All of the contacts, main contacts have been made for you. You already have access. You have wealth. You have access. All you got to do is keep on trucking along and the money just piles up. It ain't all that hard. That's why... You know, I don't get too excited like some of y'all get when y'all see certain people that have wealth that was unearned. I, I don't get excited like that about people like that. And, and some of y'all, y'all just, y'all got, y'all, y'all so fascinated by Donald Trump. And here's another thing too. A lot of people that's fascinated by Donald Trump because he's a businessman, he got all that money. Y'all the same ones that say stuff like, well, money ain't everything and you know, people are selling out their soul for the Illuminati. <laughs> I get it. I get it. You looking for a savior and you think that savior is Donald Trump and it breaks your heart. It breaks your heart to realize that Donald Trump can't even save himself. It's sad. It's very sad. But I understand you. I get you. Boy, you're pulling for Donald. And you're going to ride shotgun until the wheels fall off. You're giving Donald Trump the benefit of the doubt that he's going to an old friend and he's going to try to help out an old friend. That's all he's doing. But Donald Trump ain't going to help 
anybody but himself. He's lying to Michael Flynn and he's hoping like hell that Mike don't give him up. He's hoping like hell, but that's not going to happen. You see, because Mike Flynn knows that Donald Trump is a liar and he knows that Donald Trump will betray him. Folks, these are two alley rats scrambling, trying to get away, but they're moving too slow because they've overeaten. They're too damn fat as a result of biting off more than they could chew. God, I hate these people. No more talk. Wonder what the mate is talking about. Yeah. Order, Texas.